We're back. Magic. Magic. So, I was out of town for a little while. That's why there wasn't a video last week, but we're back. And uh, we're probably going to do... Probably going to do two weeks in a row this this time. So, that'll be fun. Huzzah. So, today, we've got some fun, fun decks. Nothing too insane. I've got a five-color Cascade deck that uses Bloodbright Elf, Shardless Agent. It's not the Crashing Footfalls one that you might be expecting. It's uh, just a pile of cards that give you some card advantage. To do things. Yeah. And uh, I am playing Monohuman Birthing Pod. Yeah. <laughs> With Pyre of Heroes. Yes. Which is uh, pretty sweet. So it's like a Birthing Pod flicker deck, but it's also humans and it's also yes, tribal and it's it weird. It has to be tribal, so yeah. it's Monohumans. <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of fun. And to decide who goes first, we're going to do a classic thing that we haven't done in a very long time. We have a dice with various creatures, and we have a dice with various locations, um, such as right leg, head, stomach. And what we're going to do is roll these two, and whoever takes the most pain gets to go first. Let's do it that way. So, for me, I'm taking a turtle to the right arm. Not that impressive. I mean, a snapping turtle would hurt. Yeah. Could snap it off. Let's see if you get anything better. I got a horse. To oh, well, on. clearly a horse can do more damage than a turtle. Yeah. <laughs> to a right arm. So, uh... That it can. Yeah. So, you will be going first, having taken the most damage, and we will see you in game one. Alrighty. Game one. Go ahead. We've got... Those. Whoop. And for myself, this is what I am working with. Hopefully, it'll be enough. All right. Got an extra reason to frame. Here's a cavern of souls, naming human. All right. No counter spells, so. And we will add a green. Double higher. You got it. And it's your go. Draw a card. That's reasonable. I think this turn, we just go for a Misty. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Well, I was going to do something else, but I do that card. It's the rainforest, crack that, going to 19. That will get us a Temple Garden on tap, 17. Boy, early three. Well, what could it be? And then we're going to go uh, tapping a white for a human. Sure. A Renegade Rallyer. Ooh. Get a Misty Rainforest back. Nice. Which we will then tap and crack. Go to 16. <laughs> and this time we will get a... Hallowed Fountain tapped. And the sweet one, too. Yes. It was the first one I've seen, and it's the mm -hmm. better one, so it works. And it's your go. Crack Misty into turn. Go to 19. And... What do we want with this? That's the real question. A lot of triomes that I could get. Um, let's get a Zagoth triome, which is black, green, and blue. It's riding like a golden horse. But it doesn't really look like a horse. Like head, it's more sheep shaped, which is funny. <laughs> you been riding a golden sheep? Yeah, or something. I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be. Like this one looks more like a horse, but then hmm. his doesn't have the same look. Yeah, have to check the other art, see what it's actually supposed to be. Untap, draw. Um. Boy, what's better this turn? I think... 
We're going to play a windswept heath and pass the turn. Untap. Drop return. Uh, two mana. Yep. Group higher of heroes. Hmm. I'm going to respond to that, actually. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm going to correct Windswept Thief on 18. Um, what should I get with that? I kind of have everything I need. So maybe let's conserve our life total a little bit. And grab. Probably going to regret this later, but we'll see. Basic Forest. And let's. So that's still on the stack. Yes. Bowmaster, one to Hierarch. Uh, well. I will tap for green. Yep. And yep, he does. So you can still trade a three in for something. But you'll have to do it pre-combat. And then, yeah, all right. So fire resolves. I will use yep. the green to cast an Avacyn's Ah, all right. That works as well. It. <laughs> and I thought maybe I'd screw you out of an attack with this. So you'd have to use your floating mana, sack this now. Ah, uh, yeah. So, well, flooded strand. Back to 15. I'll join you in the uh, thing of basic. Shoot. Except I kind of have enough lands that I'm less worried about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have a lot of mana. A lot of mana. But now if I attack, you could trade both things from Renegade right here. Yes. No more Exalted, so... Gonna tap this for a black mm -hmm. and a white and a charming prince. Ooh, yep. And we're gonna exile Renegade around here. Sure. And that will get back to Snowball Hierarch. That's on end step, he comes back, right? Yes. Or no, no, it comes back right away with Renegade. Oh, this. Yeah, e with that. Comes back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no way to get the attack in this turn, but that would be my turn finale. Okay. And it's your go. On tap. Draw a card. That would have been nice to not have on top. Um, you got a bit of a board here. Huh. Anything here scary to me? Um, let's go for this instead. Sacred Foundry tapped. Two mana for a Scion of Draco, because I have all five land types. Damn. Which gives these two life link. But there's no good attacks, so I will pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Hmm. Four four flyer. Huh? Four four flyer. And two one one life linkers. Which is a weird thing to give for black. Yeah. But it gives vigilance. Too yeah. powerful. Yeah. And life link, yeah, is there mostly in the vampires though more. Mm-hmm. You could give like fear, maybe. Something like that. There's a few other black keywords. Well, I guess we'll go to combat. Sure. And see if your 4-4 four four is worth my 4-3 uh, exalted trigger. Mm, it isn't. I will take that. 14. And then we will... Two mana. Mm-hmm. 
tap to sacrifice for any good rallier. We will go find a Ranger of Eos. Ooh, yep. And he will search for two one drops. And he could actually run both of them out as well. I think one of them's going to be an open wall tracker. And. Um, yeah. And a noble hierarch. Okay. We'll just stack those and set the triggers. That is annoying. You had so much acceleration in this game, too. It's nice. Yeah, like Mobile Hierarch into Renegade Rallyer. Mm. It was very nice. <laughs> it was a beautiful top deck. Her first draw was the Renegade. I was like, wow, I guess uh, Mana Acceleration was the name of the game. Mm -hmm. And this thing, and green, an Elven Wall Tracker. Yep. And then we will pay a blue, and why not a blue, for a Watcher tomorrow. Ah, the hideaway guy. Hideaway. Uh, that. The rest go on the bottom. And it is your go. My go. All right. Unsap. Draw. I don't know, that's maybe not awful. But this turn made this deck for fun. Gonna go for some fun before I'm dead. So go to twelve, four mana, for a bloodbraid elf. Into inevitable betrayal. Perfect. So uh, I get to search your library for any creature and put it on into play under my control. Damn. Um I don't think your deck has anything extremely broken, but no. maybe there's something cool I could do here. Um, uh, you didn't use a fetch land this turn, so Renegade Rallyer wouldn't get you them back. Mm -hmm. uh, Eternal Witness. Yeah, putting that back in your hand doesn't really matter. I'm. Uh, for me, it's between Solitude and Rolesque. I mean, Rolesque would be. But also. Oh, yeah, so I was right. There. Solitude. <laughs> you just exile my board. Well, I can't exile your board. <laughs> I can exile, exile one, one right, thing. Yes. Um, and it's just a creature. I think... I think I'm going to go with this. Just a big guy that also now gets... I mean, <laughs> already has Trample, already, but... but uh, uh, hexproof, hexproof for blue. That's pretty that, good. That's pretty good. And he can put two counters on a dragon to make a very scary. Mm hmm. Um. Is that who I want to put the counters on? Probably is. Um. Here you go. Yeah, I'm gonna put. The two counters. Yeah, I think that is probably the right call. So I'm going to put the two counters on. Oh, I can put them on himself, too. That's an option. I think it's still better to put them on the Scion, though. Makes him into a reasonably sized blocker. Yeah, he's definitely the weirdest human. Yeah, <laughs> he's like a very weird human. <laughs> I'm looking through our Simic cards and I'm like, so he has all these weird ones, but they're always like elf something, and then I just see the human mutant, and I was mm -hmm. like, oh, hey, there is something for a top end. Um, it's not an amazing play off the ranger, but mm -hmm. it's nice to have that top end flyer. I think I send both of these. So, six and nine, huh? Yes. Uh, he has first strike as well. 
On account of being red. First strike, huh? Yes. And trample. But it's a 3 2, so I'm not super worried about trampling. Um. Do I just take the 9? I don't really like taking the 9, but I will take the 9. Go to 6. Do you? Um, That's a pretty decent Bloodbright Elf. All things considered. Uh, yeah. When you Bloodbraid Elf into a 6 drop, or a 5 drop, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Untap. Yeah, I have those in there. Well, I have two copies of that in there, but they're in there for fun. That's really the only way I have to uh, cheat Rock them out. Turn. Here's another Cavern of Souls named Human. Yush. Seems like you're getting a little flooded now, actually. Uh, Pyre of Heroes will... Oh, wait. I should... I should do to color this. Yes. Sure. Sacrifice Watcher. Yep. Which uh, will put this card into my hand. So, grabbing a three. Grabbing a three. I think I know what three you're grabbing. Uh, here's a Renegade Rally. Oh, not the one I thought. But that's pretty broken, too. Yeah. Pretty, pretty good combo there. <laughs> Go sack a two. That counts as a sack. Get something back. Yep. <laughs> you yeah. could get back your two if you wanted. Well, I don't really need to land, so... Uh, yeah. Hey, Watcher doesn't... Uh, he's not done yet. It's not bad. So, if we're trying to watch the field. We can get two. Look at the top four. Uh, I think we put that underneath him. Rest on the bottom. Yush. And then we pay five mana. Oh god. Alright. For a solitude. Ugh. Okay. And goodbye to the giant dragon. Yep. So I gain six. You gain six. Going to eighteen. And tack you for four. Tack me for four. With no mana. Oh, wait. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> four, five. Four, five. Yes. Look, at, I'm like, oh, he's just got that. All right. Yeah. Got my, uh, four, five. Yeah, your guy is keeping me sustained here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Good. Then. Yes. That's it. I was thinking I had the double Draw. exalted, but I didn't have the mana to do both hmm. fire and the solitude. Yes. Um. And then this for that. Yeah, that can work. Okay, let's go for... I'm gonna Lightning Helix Solitude. Solitude down. Going to 21. And then untap Watery Grave, going to 19. And we'll go for a Shardless Agent. Into, I wish. I wish. Coiling Oracle. Put these back. Meanders reveal the top card. If it's a land, it goes into play. If it's anything else, into my hand. It is a Growth Spiral. So into my hand. Um... These are just a bunch of dorky dudes. Smash. Four seven. Uh we'll block that. We'll take four in the air. Okay. Trade Prince for Elf. Two. Go to two. Untap.
Graphic Ten. Two colors. Yep. God, I love that. <laughs> this is a really good combo. <laughs> Putting that in. And we're going to go get a three. A Renegade Rallyer. Yep. He could get a Prince, which could then bounce the Renegade Rallyer, getting you back a Watcher. That's pretty sweet. That's on end step. I don't know if that'll matter, but it's a cool cool line you could take. Or, because I am a two life, I will get back a prince. And I will gain three. Oh, smart. Go fast. <laughs> yeah, that's smart. That actually puts you just out of range of your own creature, too. Yep. And, uh... Yeah, because it worked so well last time. <laughs> oh, no. Result here. Yeah. Exiling my own thing. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, I don't get the pro double proliferate yes, because he's exiled. I was reading that. But, but I do getting mean, the flying guy out of the way is yeah. just more important. But I do go to 23. Not that. being in helix range for the next turn mm. was yeah. important. It's probably a good call. And uh, then we'll play a Hallowed Fountain Tapped, in keeping with our staying out of Helix range. Sure. Plan. And now it might be safe to go for a four. I'll take a four. Go to 19. Yes. <laughs> Who doesn't bother you? Yeah, not yeah, really. Good. Not so much. Unsap. Draw. Is that any good? Maybe. Um, yeah, let's try that out. Um, these two. For a growth spiral. Draw a card. I may put a land into play, which I will do. Stomping ground, tapped. Um, haven't played a land this turn. Here's a windswept heath. And I'm going to do a really weird thing. Suspend my second inevitable betrayal, which oh, was my wow. first draw of the game. <laughs> Not something you necessarily want to draw. It's a lot better to... Uh, Yes, cascade into. into that is far more terrifying. But um, I do right. see the inevitability of it. Don't have much to do here. And unfortunately, I think that solitude is probably going to claw your way back into this. Yeah, Pass the, life the turn. Life is nice. Untap. Draw for turn. Uh, the windswept teeth. I think we're going to go for uh, hmm. I'm so glad you can't pyre into solitude. <laughs> I'm gonna make solitude. Fight your ochre. Mm. Workers, bowmasters. Smart. Gain three life from that. Yep. Putting one one point of damage on him. Yes. He now trades with either the orc army or the snake. Two colorless. Fire heroes. Yep. And then. Uh, two. Sacrifice one of them. Mm -hmm. Go find a two drop. Go find a two man. I think it's going to be a charming prince. Oh, God. 
<laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I had one. I had one shot at this. <laughs> and I think I've. I think I've lost it. To get out of hand. Ugh. If you wouldn't have gained that life, I actually had you dead. <laughs> yeah, I figured. I was like, I was so glad that line was on that yeah. card. He just does everything. Mm. But yeah, at first I was wondering, I'm like, why is he lightning? He looks my thing. And then I remembered, oh yeah, he needed to get rid of lifelink. Mm-hmm. And uh, this one is going to bounce Ranger of Eos. Okay. Then we're going to pay two and sacrifice a charming prince. Yep. And I guess I should tap that too. Yes. And then we'll find another oh. renegade. <laughs> <laughs> this is not this is not good. This is not good. What did you do with that last Charming Prince? I don't quite remember. Uh, exiled the, the ranger. Okay. Okay. So that's coming back on that step. Yes, then it's coming back on my next step. So I don't know why I'm shuffling that much. And uh, we're going to bring back a Charming <laughs> Prince. Yeah. We're going to exile a Solitude. Yep. And... I guess one of them can attack, so four. Take it. Fifteen. And then it is your go. Yep. On end step, they both enter. I guess Shard and Sage It's a little bigger. Two. I mean, they're both kind of Trump blockers. Puts me so. to seventeen. And then Ranger of Eos will go fetch me two one drops, which will be... I'm just gonna crack this too, so I can look. Wing Crafter. Mm, this point doesn't really matter. And. I mean, I guess I already got the other special one, so it's just gonna be a Noble Hire. Yeah, the Watcher is tomorrow, card draw, card selection, and draw into, like, Renegade Rally or is great, but it's like, so is the mm. <laughs> Charming Prince bounce things to get them back again anyway. Yeah, there's a lot of things in this that aren't particularly fun to play against. <laughs> and, yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's it? Yes. That was the end step effects. Yes, I guess. So, two on that. Don't think I'm going to live for that to happen, but you never know. Uh... Hmm. I wonder if you include just like one six drop elemental to turn the solitude into. Maybe. I don't know what it would even do. Eternal Witness, which is what could have killed you last turn if um, you had not yeah. gained life. <laughs> yeah. Um, but this time it'll get back a Bloodbraid Elf, which I will then cast yeah, into Wall of Omens, which draws me a card. Uh, I don't know if that's good enough. Probably not. Mm. And I don't think I've actually played a land yet. So, Breeding Pool tapped. To you. Untap. Upkeep. Draw for turn. Um, here's a Temple Garden tapped. Oh. Pig green and a blue, the green for Noble Hierarch. Yep. The blue for Wingcrafter, who will pair with Solitude. Yes. Because having pretty good. Flying Lifelinker is pretty good. But. I don't know if that matters too much because we're going to go for two mana. 
A pyre. Yep. Sacrificing a renegade rallier. And uh, here's a Herring Grace champion. Mmm. And when he enters the battlefield, other yeah. humans I control get plus one, plus one, and life flank you tell him. Yeah, I think that'll put you out of range for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that should help stabilize me if it doesn't kill you. Okay. So, yeah, so these two have summoning sickness. And I guess all humans get plus one, plus one on lifelink. Indeed. I guess he has summoning sickness too. Yes, he does have summoning sickness. Thirteen, fourteen, plus six. So that's twenty human power. I guess you could send Hierarch in too. I think we're going to pay. I guess we're using this. A green and a white. Yep. Not of that. What matters? To make Elvenwald. Tracker tap to make him fight the Eternal Witness. Get one of those blockers off the field. Uh, Season 3 3. Yeah, but the they all have lifelink, so wouldn't it make more sense to. He has lifelink. But doesn't he give everyone plus one, every human plus one plus uh, one? Until end of turn, so he's already given the effect. No, but shouldn't he fight because he has more power? This is only a 3 3, this is a 4 3. With I lifelink? suppose, yes, right. The fighting does deal the four damage, so... You... I mean, you, don't, you can do whatever you want, but it's a little extra. Yeah, I was thinking of fighting the Blood Braid at first, but then I realized, like, it's just going to block... Mm. Oh, it's going to have to block the same as everything else. So Pretty much, well... yeah. So what are, you, what are we so, doing then? yeah, I'll make one of these guys fight Eternal Witness. Yep. With a little bit of extra HP going to 12. Shoot. And then... We'll attack three... Six. Uh, these are all fours, so twelve. Twelve added to that is eighteen. And three in the sky. Mm-hmm. And yeah, we had to tap that, so she does get to attack. Okay, so wall in front of one of those. Um Which one of these fought? I uh, will say this one. That one fought. So that one has two damage on it? Yes. So I guess that is the one downside. It's the Heron's champion, but yeah. I don't yeah, think it matters. matters. No, I don't think it matters either. <laughs> Put that one in front of Ranger. Put that one in front of Rallier. I will take three. Right? Because this uh, made him fight. Oh, sorry, three plus this. So three six. Plus, so six, yes. Yeah. Going to 10. Uh, so I lose everything but wall. This dies. Ranger dies, right? Yes. And Charming Prince doesn't die. And I gain a lot. <laughs> Was that 18 plus. So 21? Yeah. I think so. So going to 33. Ugh. Yeah, not crawling back into this one, I don't think. I don't think any... Even if I blood braid off the top into, like, perfect cards after that, I don't I don't think I can get away with this one. <laughs> no, I don't think uh, my, my other no. five drop is going to save you. That three life mattered so much. Or that two life, I guess. Yeah. Well, the game uh, three was so matter. I was at two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And your go. Unsap. This is probably going to be a land with my luck. But let's get something exciting, maybe. No, we get a land. <laughs> Just like I thought. So we will use Sacred Foundry to cast a Thraven Inspector, getting a clue, which I will then immediately crack to draw a card. Another land. Oof. Uh, which I will immediately cycle. <laughs> draw a card. Another land. 
Yeah, that's it. You got me. <laughs> Go ahead. Untap. Like, I know I'm playing a lot of lands because I have, like, cards that cheat lands into play, like this guy and yeah, Growth, Spiral, and growth Spiral. Probably didn't need to draw four in a row. <laughs> no. Draw for turn. Uh, two green mana. Yep. To get the full set of Lyric. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, if only Rolesque was an option. Hmm. I think I, I don't know. I'd have been still just short. I was thinking like just kill you with just solitude mm. with the flying, but it's only plus four, so mm. seven. Um. What shenanigans can we do beforehand, if any? I'm at ten, so like you do have to actually yeah I think, send everything. So, I know I have, so we'll assume the two biggest get blocked. So that's four, eight, nine. Yeah. <laughs> I only have nine damage, so it's not getting blocked, so I can actually kill you this turn. Unless we do some shenanigans. Yeah, I'm sure you have shenanigans to do, but... <laughs> I kind of hope not, because then I can get get off another uh, inevitable betrayal. That's yeah. pretty sick. <laughs> I think on how I. Um... Yeah, I guess that's still in my deck, isn't it? So I do have an option. So two of these have summoning sickness. Yes. That does not matter. So I only need two. So two mana. Mm -hmm. For pi... Oh, I have to sacrifice an attacker. So... Oh, wait. No. No, it does work out. Oh, no, wait. No. No, it, no it, yeah, it works out. Okay. So we're going to sacrifice a charming prince. Sure. I mean, that one's just simpler. I mean, it doesn't... But why... Simpler's not better. Eternal Witness. Okay. Ah. We're going to get back that solid feed that's in my game. Oh, that could work too, I guess. You had a lot of shenanigans you could have done with that, actually. I have a Fiend Hunter, but... Complicated, you know? Hmm. So we get the solitude back. And we're going to pay five mana. Cast Solitude to X on that. Zero life. And you gain zero life. That's pretty good, actually. But we lost an attacker. Mm. But now, when we swing with everything... This is also sick. That, that's sick. But, basically, we switched a 2-2 two -two that was going to hit with mm -hmm. a 3-3. Three -three, so I go from dealing nine damage to you to dealing ten damage Yes, so you. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> you got me. All right, so that was game one, and we will see you in game two. All right, game two. I'm going to lead with... Let's do it this way. Something I've never actually got to do before. Sacred Foundry, untapped, going to 18. And here's a monkey. Two. I'm not dashing him, but I think at best you can play a mana dork. Uh, So... I think, it, I think it'll be okay to not dash in. Well, we're going to do it at a very exciting Temple Garden Pap, so. mm. All right. It is your go. Untap. Draw. Smash, monkey. Two, 18. Let's see what we get here. Does this exile Wing Crafter? Ooh. <laughs> you can cast that on you. I can cast that. <laughs> <laughs> My fun of that gets fetched. <laughs> that gets me a treasure. <laughs> that gets you a flying monkey, which is just not good for me. <laughs> you know what? Because it's a flying monkey and I find that hilarious, let's crack this gold for a blue 
and will Wingcrafter the monkey. <laughs> oh, that's great. And uh, haven't actually played a land, so here's a Zagoth Triome to you. Oh, actually, no, sorry. I need to... Misty Rainforest. That's better. Now to you. That gives me more options. Untap. <laughs> that's funny. Drop or turn. Who's it the, the one? I like, want useful one drop from my deck is on top. It's there to be fetched. Uh, Cavern of Souls. You'll never guess what I'm naming. Uh, it's humans. Elemental. <laughs> yep. And uh, we're going to play a Watcher for Tomorrow. Oh, ho- okay. So this. Oh, it enters tapped, actually, for Hideaway. That's interesting. I didn't know that. I know the land, the Hideaway lands all enter tapped. I guess, yeah, apparently it's, it's that's attached in the to the Hideaway, and you just kind yeah. of forget. So, so when it does, you look at the top four. Okay. So I'm going to respond to that. Crack this. Going to 17. I'm actually going to go to 15 to get a Watery Grave untapped. So this is in response to the Hideaway... Oh, because if you kill the creature before the hideaway resolves, then... Then you basically look at your top four and choose which one you like the least, because it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Here's a Orcish Bowmasters. Oh one damage. <laughs> oh, that's dead Bowmasters. And a dork. <laughs> dead Watcher. And, uh... Yeah. So look at the top four. And... Um, which of those don't you want? You're basically surveilling for, which is not too bad which, still. Which one of you are banished forever? I guess this one. And the other ones go in the bottom. <laughs> uh, suddenly I don't like my turn as much. <laughs> to you. Well, it, oh, yeah, I yeah, guess. Still, still my turn. Back, back to you. <laughs> back to me. Uh, uh, yeah. It is your go. Ha we did it. We did it, boys. And I got a monkey out of the deal. What a good day this is. Oh, that is... That is a top deck. If I've ever seen one. I don't one. like the sound of that. Oh, you won't. Oh, you definitely won't like the sound of that. Uh, what am I... What's the only thing I'm missing? Green? Yeah, that'll work. Here's a Zagoth Triumph, which has a green. Here's a two-mana dragon. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I have all sorts of colored stuff, so that's kind of fun. Uh, let's just send with all these boys. So, two, three, four, five. Five damage already, huh? Uh... <laughs> Some of which is coming from you. <laughs> yeah, we're going to take that, unfortunately. Ah! Going to 13. Okay, so these have lifelink because they're black. So I gain two back, going to 17. Ragavan, of course, hits. So I get a gold, and let's see if I get anything else. You get my one planes. Uh, you, I can't, you can just fish for magical one drops. Can't actually play that because I played my land already, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, so that just so gets to be exiled, gets lost forever. Yes. Um, hexproof if it's blue, vigilance if it's white. So first strike if it's red. That's nothing. That's it. To you. Untap. Drop return. Do I know how painful that was, though? Exiling that planes? Yeah. I gotta go for now. <laughs> oh, was that your only planes? That's my only planes. Wow! Music. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, well, that's lucky. <laughs> I got them all the things that could be <laughs> after the, yeah. the hideaway, you... <laughs> Not only you only get my basic. wings after, you get my yeah. only basic. Monkey! Putting in work. Um, Everyone likes a good pirate monkey. I'm actually dressed like a pirate today, so... I don't know if you can see that sweet hat, I'd go pretty low. <laughs> Where is... There it is. Breeding pool. Breeding pool. Everyone likes to breed in the pool. And three mana. 
Yes. Did that come in untapped? Yes. Oh. That's why I'm a 10. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to renegade Oh, that's not bad. Getting back. Watcher for tomorrow. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, this one, I don't think you have a response No, to. I don't. So, uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, I think we're going to put that one underneath. All right. And he comes in tapped also because of hideaway. Yes. Which maybe matters? Yeah, it might matter, considering I'm 10 now. But at the same time, uh, you have 7 power unblockable because it's flying. So. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it is your go. Man, your own little guy is, like, putting in massive work here. Brad put a counter on that, man. Draw. Well, this is fun deck, so we should do things for the fun. Here's yes. a windswept heath, which will crack. Going to 16. If so I can find 16. There's 16. So that will get a forest. And yeah, I think my start was just a little too fast for you this game. Bloodbraid Elf into Growth Spiral. So I draw a card, and then I can put a land in. Here's a Steam Vents tapped. And... Do I have to send everybody? I think I do. Send everybody. Send everybody. Yes. So that's probably your best block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, because of trample. <laughs> wow. Actually. You know what? I'm holding this back. Just send these. Just, just send those. Just send these. Um... Well, to help simplify my math, we're going to evoke. Ah, oh, all right. So, taking out my... Yeah, taking out, taking out the dragon. Sure. So, I gained four from that, going back to 20. I do really <laughs> want to get rid of that monkey, because, I mean... It's annoying? <laughs> yeah, the, the flying monkey's just kind of annoying, but then taking the planes was hmm. very painful. And he still flies, luckily. Thanks to the wing side. I don't really want my renegade rally or dead is the problem. So we're gonna eat an Orcish Bowmaster and take three, four, five, six. Sure. And go to four. Bowmaster dead. So I got your top card and a gold. Charming Prince. Mm. Charming Prince. I am very glad I took that bowmaster. Yeah, sure. I'll cast that. So, Charming Prince. <laughs> Do I scry because I have so many, like, cascady things? Maybe that's good. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna scry too. Bottom, bottom. Yuck. Uh -huh. To you. They're out of the way. Untap. I don't think there's a lot I, I can do here. Maybe the tire Off might not turn. be terrible. Um, Depends. I guess you could have more solitudes. Here's a cavern of souls, naming human. Mm hmm. Here's a hideaway card. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to come in anyway. And, uh... I guess we'll put that one underneath. 
But yeah, we are at four, so I don't know how this turn's looking. It's your go. Uh, yeah, you're kind of just dead to your own things. <laughs> Actually, no. I oh. should also have played one more blocker. Yeah, sure. And then Smart. Yes. Draw. I mean, you're three in the air, so... Fun time. Bloodbraid Elf. <laughs> Bloodbraid Elf, man. Yeah. Into Thraven Inspector. This that, time I get a clue. That's very fun. Unfun. Oh. <laughs> um, what do you got? I have a four. You were at four. So you're not dead just in the air, but you don't have enough blockers for all of these men. So I'm gonna... You have one card in hand? One card in hand. Three in the air. Three in the air, yeah. Go to one. Gold. Top card. Top card is a pilgrim. Avison's pilgrim. Well, that's not bad, but I'm just going to lightning helix your face. (laughs) Sadness. Yeah. (laughs) I I had redundancy in in my kills there. (laughs) Yeah, the, the removal of the first watcher was very sad. Because if what you was didn't, mm. I had this ephemerate that I had to get oh. rid of. But what, it's when he leaves. And yeah. then he enters. And then he finds another thing. And then I get a rebound. Wow. And then I'm like, well, you know. Oh, that is really good. You'll block. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I'll get it. But you just had too much damage. I mean, this, yeah. one, this one just had a rallier. But, I mean, that's that's pretty good. Uh, that well, to be honest, it was your fault for giving me <laughs> flying. So... <laughs> That into, <laughs> that into the plane. Like, uh. <laughs> oh, man. Got pretty lucky there. Sweet. <laughs> okay. So, that was game two. Let's give you your cards back. And we'll see you in game and, three. Uh, oh, yeah. And then the one hidden under the, the watcher, uh-huh. the first one that got exiled, was another watcher. Oh. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I already have a second copy in my hand. I don't need a third one. <laughs> Shouldn't happen. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Game three. To you. We've got... Those. Whoop. I inform myself. Nothing too insane. All right. Flooded Strand. You sh- Gonna be a breeding pool untapped. And Avison's pilgrim. Okie dokie. And it's just your go. Draw. I'm gonna crack a misty for a try land and pass. I'd tell you the names, but I don't know them. <laughs> One of them. One of them. I think... You just mumble with enough conviction, people. I'll get a triumph. Is that enough conviction? Yes. <laughs> I guess I could just read it now that I have it, but... Yeah, Ketria, the green, blue, red one. Untap. Drop the turn. And... Here is a Plains, and we are going to play a Charming Prince Sure. Scrying 2. Uh, one on top, one on the bottom. Okay. Mm. Mm, do we want to put that on the bottom, though? I don't think we do. I think we want them on top, just... Swapped. Top and swap. <laughs> Just to make sure I didn't have an extra card. <laughs> yes. Battle? And since I don't need the man. Oh, yeah, I guess you can do or... some with him still. Tacky for one. 18. And sure go. Untap. 
draw. That's not, that actually changes my plans, I think. Misty Rainforest, which I will crack. I'm going to go all the way to 15 to get a dual land. Probably... I need something black for this one. Got a watery grave untapped, so 15 and all that. Now I'm just missing the white. Yeah. Cut me. Does that mean there's a cascader coming? No. Gross spiral. Gross. Draw a card. Put a land into play. Q. Untap. Drop the turn. Would have guessed. A Cavern of Souls, naming human. Mm -hmm. And it'll cast a Renegade Rallier. Mm -hmm. In response, I will ephemerate Charming Prince. Ah, I see. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. enter, leaves, and enters. Stay exiled for the rebound. Yeah. And so this is still on the stack with... Yes. Yeah. And... I realize... I guess I didn't need to keep the one card on the top, because... This time we're just going to... We're gonna... He, he's not oh, in play right. yet. He's not in play yet. Yeah. Damn, I can't sequence that, right? Yeah, unfortunately next, there's no way to get both. Yeah. So this time I'm going to gain three life. Yeah. Going 20. Renegade Rallyer will enter. Yes. And something left, so we'll get a flooded strand. And so we do have to say goodbye to that card that we put on top. But... Mm -hmm. I feel getting ahead of mana is just better. we can find the temple there. I'm gonna crack this end of turn as well. Get something white this time. Maybe red white. Sacred Foundry. Yeah, I guess of them, neither of them can attack. Thinking yeah. of it, I guess I could have attacked with the prince and then done that. But, yeah. Uh, we didn't think of that, so it is your go. Yeah, that's true, I guess. Oh, man. <laughs> Why? Why? Okay. Um, then this turn. Coiling Oracle. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I, I got it. This was on top. No. So now no. I have both of these. <laughs> you have both of these. <laughs> That's pretty solid. Those, those are what you want in your hand. Yeah, definitely. Go. <laughs> Didn't even have a land. <laughs> uh, untap. On my upkeep. Family. Yep. Uh, we're going to bounce the rally. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, something left this turn. <laughs> we'll get a flooded strand. Yep. <laughs> you haven't even drawn yet. <laughs> you already got a revolt yeah. trigger. We draw for turn. Oh, this poor little snake. He's not gonna... He's not gonna make the cut here. I don't think he's gonna make the grade. I play Windswept Heath. And... We're gonna... So we're gonna pay... Four. Is there a better way to do this? I'm gonna pay four. To cast a Ranger of Eos. Yep. And I think while we're in there, we're gonna just find these. Sure. <laughs> so two from that. And for the one drops. We 
kind of have a lot of land, so I don't really need another mana dork. So I guess we get the special ones. That way you can't steal them this time. <laughs> <laughs> then we will find... Well, I'm not, not going to be stealing anything <laughs> for a while. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of... Uh, they're just two pretty bad draws. <laughs> Let's find two of those. Do I want to bring one? Nah, both of them out at the same time. Man, I could have even cascaded into it that turn. Jesus. <laughs> I thought, I drew one off the top. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way there's another one. <laughs> what are the chances that the other, the next card is the other one? <laughs> Cascaded into anything like a coiling or a claim to that. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that would have been just better to do anyway. I had a follow up if this would have hit me a land, but. Uh, okay, green. I did not. For the tractor. Yep. And we will attack you for two. Take it. And it is your go. Okay, is this insurmountable yet? Oh, oh God. Insurmountable. Come on. <laughs> Okay. I kind of have a lot, but I also don't have, like, an engine or any kind going. Wall of Omens, draw me a land. Nope. <laughs> Go. <laughs> I'm almost have to... Oh, I do have to discard. Uh, yeah, inevitable oh. betrayal. <laughs> Normally it's, you know, your opponent's creatures betraying you, but in yeah. this time it's your draws betraying you. Mm -hmm. uh, draw for turn. That I mean, but it's it's still not it's there's still nothing there. <laughs> I'm gonna be so bummed if you kill me before I even get to cast the blood right off. <laughs> Thing is, like I have all these things, but I don't have like an engine. Hmm. So yeah, I guess you are lacking a little bit in something to do. Like I can. I can empty out my... Is that... Bender? It's funny, so... Yeah. <laughs> and I, it's probably better than this guy. I don't think it actually is, but... Two mana. Yeah. For Charming Prince. <laughs> Who's gonna bounce. Yeah. Ranger Vios. Oh, that doesn't happen this turn. Right. Next, it's, end it's step. the end yeah. step. So I can't... I was going to go get too uh, exalted to get oh. the wall, but I guess that's not an option. Yeah. So that's I guess funny. we are going to scry too. Okay. <laughs> and they're going to go to the bottom super fast. Well, that's some good news. And then... There's still a lot more of a board presence, but... I'm going to play... A wing crafter. Yeah. We'll pair with that ranger that found them. Sure. And then we can attack with them. Yeah, I don't really have a good block here. Actually, thanks to and then before before damage, there. I'm gonna. I don't wait. No way. You're right. I could wait to make the wall, or I could just kill the blocker. We're gonna charming prince is gonna fight that one. Sure. Well, then I'll block three of that. Um, you can block that guy. He's oh, yeah, it. sorry. That one. I thought so, you paired it with so that one, but it doesn't matter. Five goes through. Five. Eight. And my wall survives. And it is your go. Please give me a land. That's not a land. Woof. All right. Shardless agent. Into Coiling Oracle. <laughs> into land! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> uh, still not the greatest turn in the world, but, but fair enough. It, it, yeah. it, it might get you to your blood right off. So. Maybe. I might get the cast one before I die. Um, I don't think I will, but I might. <laughs> untap. Upkeep. Draw for turn. Uh... 
that's game we're playing. I mean, it's there's just no real value there, though. But I guess this is the game we're playing. Huh? <laughs> uh, tapping for a colorless. Ah. I see. For solitude. Wall? Yeah, wall. <laughs> so I don't gain any life? You don't gain any life, but it's also got the biggest butt, so it's, yeah. it does work quite well for that. Yeah. And, uh... Sure does. Then we will... Three in the air, three on the ground, four more on the ground. Yes. Take five. Uh, walking the renegade rally. Taking five. Uh, him and him? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I go to three. You had me dead. On board. Pretty sure. If he would have sent everyone. I mean, three. But he can attack. Yeah, but he can, he can, and he can. Oh, yeah. But I'm glad you didn't. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> I want to cast you, the Blood you, Braid you Elf. You your Blood Braid Elf. So, yeah. <laughs> so, Renegade Rally, your dies. And, uh... Not like a Blood Braid Elf's going to do anything. Yeah, true go. But it's fun. And I built the deck to Cascade. Yeah, honestly, I forgot Avacyn's Pilgrim actually does have power, even though I attacked <laughs> yeah. with it once. Yeah, it's not a hierarch. Blood Braid into all those lands that I've been missing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Lightning Helix! Lightning yes! Helix. Free your face. <laughs> <laughs> I got a six. <laughs> I got a 14. Tacky for three. Uh. So on the bottom. I couldn't have survived this, right? No, I couldn't have. Uh, before damage. I'm gonna make your Blood Elf fight a prince. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> You. <laughs> like, why do we need to block? We can just fight before the fight. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Untap. Missed another land, by the way. <laughs> After milling like six lands. After cascading away six lands. <laughs> Drop it there. Yeah, I don't think I could have won there because you had to fight bear at any point. I don't want to. Now I want to kill you with this. Because I want to justify it being in my deck. You can not attack me and kill me next turn, because I don't think there's anything I can do. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's anything you can do, so... I mean, I could cast another Blood Braid off. He's but... a guessing Cage Breaker. Oh, that's fun. So when he attacks, you get a 2-2 two -two for each... For each creature in my graveyard, yes. Oh, okay. And they're tapped and attacking. Ah. So he can break the cages. So yeah, it's your go. Untap. Draw a card. Blood Braid Elf. Into Orcus Bowmasters! Yeah! Mm. Uh, one to your face. <laughs> nah, I killed something. I want to okay. make a bigger group. Tracker. Okay, so before Tracker dies, he is going to have Avacyn's Pilgrim fight Windcrafter. Yeah, you could do that. Sure. <laughs> that is the genius of Fight Bear. You can uh, let yeah. him do things well, like I, that. I was like reading him. Like, yeah. Target creature you control. Uh, they're not going to let me fight another target creature. Okay. Yeah, you can fight your own guys together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to do that? You... Or he ain't going to stop you. You know what? I'm going to try and survive. Pass the turn. Actually, I got a land drop, actually. So do that, and then I'll pass through. Unbelievable. Yeah, I know. Drew a... Uh, Untap. Try land. Off the top. Draw for turn. 
Not very exciting. But at least you get some wolves. Yes. So at the moment, I would get five wolves. Five wolves. If only there was a way to get the solitude back in my hand just to evoke it. To put it in the grave. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there's five wolves for you. So, yeah, well, I think we just swing for nine, eleven, twenty two. Twenty two, two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do anything. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think there's a way for you to live through this. No, there isn't. So I'm going to put all three of these in front of that charming prince of yours. <laughs> you got me. Oh. oh, you got more. Oh, ephemerate. <laughs> ephemerate. <laughs> Just wait until you Just to sure. get through life. Sure. <laughs> yeah, you got me. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, that's about how I thought that would go after uh, missing a few in the beginning. Yeah, but... but... <laughs> that's all right. This this was the this was the biggest insult. Yeah, having that's... two of those in a row off the top is my you first two draws. After the steal my wing yeah. after steal my basic, I, you kind of deserved it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, yeah. So what I've learned with this deck is uh, the only way this deck can win is if it steals your shit. <laughs> So, pretty pretty good. <laughs> All right. So that was this. A lot of fun. Um, fun decks here. Yes, they so. were quite entertaining. <laughs> and we will see you next week with some more stuff. Bye!